Hey guys, it is Michelle. So today we are back in front of the shoe wall. As you can tell by the title, we're doing a haul video. So this is a mix of different things. Um, some are from Amazon, some are from Walmart. I did a little treat uh, recently for myself because I got my facial today and I treated myself to some new products there. And then um, we went away for a very brief trip and on our way back we stopped at a um, thrift store and I'll show you where I got there. So, um, I guess we're just going to get started in order and then we are going to be doing a video of you guys have requested that the books that I read, because I post pictures of those on Instagram, to talk a little bit about them. So I do have a series of books that I just finished reading. They are out of print, but you can get them super cheap on places like eBay and uh, we'll get into that next. So the first thing are these new books that I got. Well, not new. They're from the thrift shop. So we took a trip to check out part of my New Year's resolution was to do more traveling into areas that I am not norm um, that I haven't been to, and we did do that. And I'll talk a little bit more about that and my experience and my thoughts were about it, um, but we won't get into it right now. So on our way home from the trip, we stopped at a um, a thrift shop and. The books were $1.50 each, and I just want to share them with you. So the first one that we found, actually, it's marked $4.99, um, but the guy rang it up $1.49 for us. And this is Joyce Goldstein's Mediterranean, The Beautiful Cookbook. So it's this giant cookbook. And what I love about this book, um, I love Mediterranean and Tuscan food. It's one of my favorites, because especially the Tuscan stuff, because it's so clean and beautiful. And this has a lot of those types of recipes. So you have recipes from Spain. Um, and it gives you a little bit of history as well. Um, here's, uh, I can't pronounce some of these, but I'll show you. I don't know if you can, can see. Um, this book is from the 90s. They got carrot, salad, egg with pepper, tomatoes, and eggplant. So they got some really interesting, oh, they even have hummus in here. Fish road dip. That sounds fantastic. So a lot of these are very clean recipes. Like this is from Spain. What about this section? They're separated by sections. There's some from France. There's a lot of breads, and savory pastries, which is really cool. Um, there's a section on Italy. I think this is the Greece. So anything up and down the Mediterranean. No, this is Italy. There's an Italian section. But anything in the Mediterranean is pretty much in this book. I'm pretty sure there was a... Yep, there's Greece. I knew there was a Greek section. Um, there's a, I saw a recipe in here for um, pistachio ice cream. Look, look at these. How beautiful is this? And that's the other thing I like, that they had pictures of some of the food and they talk a bit about the history and the cultures in these different countries which i really loved as well it's not just the food you understand a little bit more about um where some of these cultural dishes come from like there's a lot of different fish the italian one has a lot of different fish recipes which i am all about i'm trying to find the other turkey is in here i'm trying to explain that to somebody that turkey was in the Mediterranean. I don't remember who it was. And there's couscous in here. Oh, there's a little bit of handwriting in here. It looks like somebody changed it. Some of like, they crossed out like what they didn't like and how they altered the recipe. Chicken with lemon and olives. That sounds so good. The Middle East. There's pictures of the pyramids. It's just a really beautiful book. And like I said, we only paid $1.49 for it. And I just love how there's history in here. Like, look at how delicious everything looks. They have angry pasta, little ear pasta. So I think they actually teach you how to make some of these. Lamb dumplings with yogurt sauce. So there's a bunch of really cool and a lot of very clean recipes in here as well. Like, look at all the, the vegetables, which is really what was speaking to me, is was that and the seafood. Um, I want to see. 
I thought there was one more country in here. North Africa is in here as well. Oh, wow. I think they actually have edible flowers in here, which I do love edible flowers. I do eat roses and lavender. Um, obviously, you don't just buy roses at the grocery store and eat them. You have to get actual edible flowers that aren't treated with chemicals. Um, I had a I've had to tell people that before, but you know, it's not, it's not something that people would think about. They're like, oh, roses are edible. Let me just gnaw on this. No, you have to actually get the ones that are, are not filled with chemicals. Um, but yeah, so it talks about illustration. Okay. So there's in this book, there's Spain, France, Italy, Greece, Turkey, the Middle East and North African, um, recipes. So there's a lot in here. And like I said, the pictures are beautiful and I love that there's also a history um, as well. So this I'm very, very excited for. And I go through so many books. I'm very picky about my cookbooks. I don't buy cookbooks very often. I have a very small collection, but especially getting secondhand books, it's one of my favorite things because books can get very expensive, especially when you read through as much as I do. And um, so yeah, that was one of the, um, the main ones. The next three that I have are all from the same author. I read some of his work while I was in um, college many years ago and I really liked it. So he is most famous for, I'll show you the first one because you may know this book. So this is Mitch Album, and this one is Tuesdays with Marie. So this is one of his more famous books. The first book that I read by him were The Five People You Meet in Heaven, which I strongly recommend. It's a very unique view on how the afterlife is. It's obviously a fictional book. This has nothing to do with what actually happens to you in the afterlife. Um, but it was a very unique way of viewing it. And I know there's a sequel to it that's uh, come out too. So the runaway bestseller that changed millions of lives, Tuesdays with Maury, a young man, an old man, a young man, and life's greatest lesson. So I've heard many great things about this and um, I'm excited to read it. Now this book was normally $13. I got it for $1.49. So that's why I like getting secondhand books. Um, next, and this is, look, this is how my Five People You Meet in Heaven book looks like. So this one is Mitch Albom's For One More Day. And it talks about if you could go back in time and change something um, that you did wrong in your life, would you take the opportunity? So it talks about that thing. So it's kind of like the butterfly effect thing. Um, so yeah, there's a couple things that I think everybody has like one or two things that they would change. But then you think about that whole butterfly effect. What would it really cause? You know what I mean? But yeah, so that's the other book I got for $1.49. And then I got, I believe this is a newer book. I thought this was one of their newer novels. Oh, and that last book was how much originally? It's just so you have an idea. Cause I know I paid $1.49 for all of them, but just to give you an idea with these, this one originally sold for $22. So, I mean, it's a hard cover, but still, um, I thought that was such a great deal. I was so excited for it. And then the last one, is this book which was originally $15.99 and this is The Magic Strings of Frankie Presto. So I it's about a, a war orphan from in, born in a burning church. It takes place in the 1950s. I haven't fully um, read what this story is about but I figured for $1.49, um, cause he is an author that I do appreciate that this would be an interesting read. I do want to get the five more people you mean heaven, the one, the follow up to the first one. Uh, but I haven't gotten it. I was looking for it so fiercely at that the thrift store. I was really hoping cause it looked like somebody, cause there was quite a few Mitch album books there. And I was really, it looked like just somebody just was done reading their, their books from him, or maybe it was like a family member who was donating somebody who had passed books. I don't know, but yeah, so they didn't have it, but I got some three really great ones and I do love his work. His work tends to make you like some books are for happy things. Some are for learning. His books invoke other feelings. Um, they're not always the happiest of feelings, but he is a very, very good author 
and I haven't read his work in quite some time, so I'm really excited to have some new books to read. Uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, that was reasonable. They're being recycled because these didn't end up in a landfill. They were donated. I got them for a really good price. And when I'm done with them, I'll either donate these to the local free library or pass them on to a friend, which is great. I like uh, doing that with books. Although, it, it, depending if I really love the book, it'll become a permanent part of my collection. But um, sometimes that doesn't happen, you know? So that's why I like buying them secondhand, so that you can get a really good deal on your books and not to worry about like, well, well, I just spent $30 on this book and now I'm gonna give it away, you know what I mean? Like, it's a way of saving money. I need to go back out and get some more. Well, no, I don't. I have a bunch of books to read now. But anyway, we're getting to that point, guys, where I'm gonna go into a part two and um, I'll see you there. I'll be right back. <laughs> 